Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars and welcome back to the channel. Today I have another auction recap. Um, it's Friday about 4.30 in the afternoon. I just went and looked at the property. Uh, the auction is tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock in the morning, so I don't have enough time to get this put together, get this put out. Um, I did talk to the auctioneer. Next auction and future auctions, we'll have some more time to plan this thing out. So we'll give you guys more of an advance notice next time. However, I hope you guys do enjoy the video today. A lot of cool old pre-war stuff, some pre-war Fords, a pre-war Chevy truck. Um, well, a Chevy sedan, I should say, not a truck. There is a Ford truck there, a 41 Ford, um, a Henry J. A lot of cool stuff, so I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, leave a like, comment your favorite car, and let's get started. All right, so the first of the four cars here are the roughest of the four. There's an old... Uh, Roadster here. Missing a few parts. Original four cylinder engine still in place. On wire wheels. I want to say this was a 36 Chevrolet. That's what the auction advertisement said, but I can't remember for sure. Two door sedan. Pretty nice patina on the thing. I mean, you definitely need a whole ton of work. But the seats are all there. Running boards aren't in terrible shape. Overall, could be fixed for sure. I think this is a model, model A, two-door sedan. Down to the down to the basics on this one. Still on the wire wheels. Pretty beat up. Could be a cool hot rod project. I think this is the one. Like the first episode of Fast and Loud I ever saw when they built the Model A. Kind of got me into these things. And the newest one by far is this Ford LTD here. We'll see the other ones here in a second, but uh, not too bad a shape. Big four-door. Be a good derby car, I'm sure, is what this will be used for. Vinyl top car. My grandpa had a big LTD back in the day. It was like a 70 or 71. It's not this generation, but nonetheless, big boat. Old Mortski repair. I text him about this auction. He, he might be bidding on some stuff. You got front axles, a couple frames, some agricultural equipment, rear bumper, bunch of engines. I don't believe any of them turn. Six cylinders, couple V8s. There's a flathead. Rear ends. The guy collected everything for a long time. Small block Chevy. Valves, or the rockers don't look too bad, but I'm sure with no carburetor it's stuck. Some old school golf carts. All right, so the one that I'm actually kind of interested in is this 34 Ford, four-door sedan. V8 car, real nice survivor. The windows are broken out, but the door's still open. The original interior is still there. My great grandpa was on the uh, on the posse back in back in July of '33 when there was a shootout in Dexter, Iowa, with Bonnie and Clyde. And as you all know, Bonnie and Clyde got killed in the '34 Ford. And uh, yeah, he was on the posse that arrested Blanche Barrow. So kind of a cool little piece of my history. Next one up is a '53 Henry J. I feel like every one of these I've ever seen is hot rotted. This one appears to be original, down to the uh, seat covers, the door panels. The dash is real nice. Henry, Henry J script right there on the glove box. Back seat has that, that pattern. A 
Very nice body, last tagged in 72. Looks like the bodywork, this one's been doing some bodywork on this car prior to it uh, being parked. Hood emblem is still there. Can't get the hood open on this one, but I'm not gonna force it. Next one's a 59 Ford Galaxy. Motor is stuck. It's all complete though. This one's kind of cool because it's got a, uh, a three-speed on the, on the floor and it's in a four-door. So I'm not sure if someone swapped that over. Actually, I can tell they did because there's the shift linkage originally. There's a boot for it. Nice aftermarket interior. There's the original back seat. Very restorable car. Old school thrush muffler sticker. Has a title. This 41 Ford truck does have a title. The sign, yeah, for sure, man. 41 Ford truck has a title. Original flathead V8, still in place. It's got an aftermarket altar or regulator on it. Real nice body on this one. Missing the uh, wire wheels on the back. I uh, can't open the door. It's been painted blue on the inside. The seat's been redone. Nice little project truck right here. Sit next to that I believe is a 52 Studebaker. It's a two door. Kind of an uncommon car to see. I think it was the 50 and the 51s had the had the bullet the bullet nose in the grill, and this is the first or second year away from that. So not as collectible, but nonetheless very very cool. Rare car to find, and this one's also all original. Back seat looks pretty good. Floor pan does not look terrible. A little bit of rust, but not too bad. A big wraparound window, just love it or hate it for sure. Neat car though. Next to that is a 37 Ford, four door sedan, flathead V8 once again. A little more of a project here. But it does have all of its original wheels. Four door sedan, so it's a suicide door car. Another really cool interior. Original car, for sure. Survivor, it's starting to rain, so I might have to get out of here before too long. Here's the auction company, new generation auctions. And we're in Cortland, Iowa, or Cortland, Nebraska, if I didn't say it already. Uh, the last two vehicles here, got a couple or a pair of uh, Model T Coupes. I believe the ad said 26 and 27. Total projects though, motor and transmissions are there. Waukesha Ricardo head. Does anyone know what that is? If it's like a race race head or what that might be. Cool project. One sitting next to it, no engine, no transmission. Body's not terrible. Roof has a little bit of a little bit of rust in it. But God almighty, it's almost hundred years old. What do you expect? So the, uh, the auctioneer here is Sean, and uh, 
he explained that Norval is the guy who actually owned all this stuff at one time, and sounds like he built this uh, this homemade ATV here. It's got a 400 Dude, Ford like in it. 400, 400, 400 with a uh, with an uh, C6. Uh, yeah, I believe so. C6 auto transmission. Mm -hmm. uh, can't verify that it runs. No battery key, so obviously it doesn't start, but. Man, what a hell of a, a hell of a contraption here. I mean, you look at the new stuff that's selling for twenty, thirty thousand dollars. The, the you know the Generals and the the Razors, and this has nothing on those. Hip out the water, that God one. Almighty, yeah, solid, solid got, thick frame, and there's some stuff that's just tacked together. Just be careful, don't move these bars. Oh, it's some tacked. Are tacked together. Yep. yep. So a little welding still required, but still a hell of a cool thing, man. Very ingenious of the time. This is the fourth auction we've done for him. The fourth auction. Jesus. So in addition to all the cars, he's got a boatload of parts in this old building here. Piles of hubcaps, wheels, hood ornaments. Tons of miscellaneous old stuff in here. Yeah. I'm kind of wondering what the heck we got here. Yeah, what do we got here? Is this the wheels? Is this the 17? Either way. Guy's 82 and we've been on this tomorrow. What's that? Is he bidding on it tomorrow or? I have no idea. Oh, I got you. It's an all original Model T though. Real cool. There was something about wondering if it has a starter on it or not. If it doesn't on the motor. Yeah, but so. Yeah, there's no, me and my buddy got a 24 running, I guess there was a, a push button start underneath them, so. Yeah, the, if this is a 17, you can see, and here's the crank right here, so more than likely it's the original motor. Original engine. We'd have to open it and see yep. the starter for Man, sure, just but. a time capsule though. Yeah. In addition to the cars and parts, he also has a ton of bikes. I know there's all makes, models, years, all in various stages of disrepair and repair. Yep. All the old parts to fix them. You got the bodies there. This is a cool one right here. It is a lot of stuff, and it's the fourth auction the guy was saying. I hear you, man. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. Yes, yeah, so like he was saying, this is the fourth auction for the gentleman. Sounds like this is probably the last one, though. Original Chevrolet seat belts. Lots of smalls, window cranks, trim pieces, exhaust pieces, stuff like that. We have another partial Ford right here, tucked away. Old school casters, locks. A little bit of everything in here. The guy collected a ton of stuff. NOS parts. John Deere, GM. That's cool. Cord belt. He's got this old Delco Remy. It's kind of cool, old piece. Oh, so that sign there.
So we got a 53 Ford tr uh, tractor here. They with both a sickle bar mower. with a sickle bar mower. I need that for my property right there. It does turn over. It needs some work done to it. Yeah, it needs a little bit of work. You can see the fuel lines dripping there, but could be brought back to life pretty easily. Not sure if it's original paint or not, but a nice old tractor here. Next to that is a John Deere, unsure of the year. This one also does crank over. Looks. John Deere MT, you said? MT, oh yeah, right there. MT. Maybe an older restoration on it. Looks pretty clean. It's a newer seat on it. Nice old tractor. So uh, we got the, the lone tractor engine that I've seen today right here, kind of in a in a various stage of, of assembly. Got a Ford V8. We're not sure on the size of that one. We got this kick-ass Cushman. I love this thing, man. I've never seen one before. It's a diesel. It's a diesel. <laughs> oh my God. Does it run? Uh, it used to. I don't know. It's been sitting for like 20, 30 years. Okay. So ran when parked, but nonetheless, man, look at those springs and oh my God. What a unique. What a unique mower. I mean, next to it's a Cub Cadet and that's cool, but this is this is the the top dog right here. This is cool. I'm gonna have to come back and bid on this one myself. They uh well, I don't know if that's going up on auction, but it probably is since he said everything on this side. I gotcha. So we got a Cushman box. I'm told it was on a truckster at one time. I have never seen one. I've never seen one in the junkyard, restored anything. So if you guys have the one Cushman truckster out there. There's a transmission in there for it too. And he's got a transmission. So this is a must-see auction if you have a Cushman that needs a box. And we've got two more tractors back here to kind of round this thing out. They need a little bit of work here. I'm not even sure what the maker model is on. Oh, uh, Oliver? Oliver Road Company. I don't know what year. Yeah, definitely a parts tractor, missing this much up front here. I think that motor on that engine... That motor might be for this? I think that goes to this. So if you guys are an Oliver collector, you might be able to tell us if, uh, if that engine on that stand goes to this tractor or not. And the last one here is a little smaller. Case. What is it? Case. It's Case, old Case tractor. It's all there. Well, missing a little bit of stuff, but... <laughs> Could be fixed up if you need an old tractor. Easily. Original paint. Yeah, man, it's it's cool to see this old stuff. I mean, you just oh, don't you don't see it anymore. It's starting to kind of go to the wayside. Oh yeah, definitely. I spoke too soon. I guess uh, there's a couple more tractors back here. This one's old school, man. I don't know what year this one is. I don't know. Either. But this is. This has got to be the oldest one here. That skid loader is kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Got a Farmall 706 diesel. Six cylinder. A little newer than the previous one we just looked at. I'm sure this one could run with a little bit of work. This is a Huber. And I've got a Huber tractor. I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but... That's a pretty serious thunderhead that's growing. We've been here. Tornado, Tornado watch. watch, yeah. But that's uh, another day in life in the Midwest. Yeah, right. Got a Huber tractor. Never, I can't say I've ever heard of one before. I haven't either. And look at those wheels, man. You can't put that on the highway, that's for sure. I've seen it. The DOT would have a, a field day with that. I've, I've seen, they drove them through on parades here in town. All right, we also have a bunch of old school small engines here, push mowers. I don't know anything about all this stuff, but if you guys do, please let me know down in the comments. The one spare Chevy part we've got is it looks like a 64 Impala bumper right here. We've got an old school truck bed, an old Ford, probably Model T truck bed right here. It's just amazing how far 
life is coming a hundred years. We've got two more or two more partial engines and a 303 rocket, four barrel, probably a 53 or 54 model. I think this would be a 304 or a 324, but it could still be a 303. Cool engine though. Very, very cool engine. And the last thing I'm gonna cover today, walking over here, is an old school Coca-Cola uh, dispenser. So you got the the uh, place to take the tops off. Cooler is not full of Coke anymore. It's full of uh, looks like wheels and belts. It's got a hell of a nice patina to it. All original. The Coke tag is still there. Very hard to find piece, and very valuable, especially when you restore one. But if I had this, I'd just leave it as is. I was uh, editing the video and realized I never did an outro. So if you guys enjoyed the video today, leave a thumbs up, comment your favorite car, tractor, part, or antique out of the bunch. I like the Henry J a lot. I also like the 34 Ford a lot. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. And if you're brand new, make sure to subscribe. I'm always looking for old junkyards to go through, auctions, uh, will it run, stuff like that. You guys never know what you're going to see on my channel. But uh, make sure to subscribe so you do see it when I do post it. So thank you all for watching. My name is Ryan with Iowa Classic Cars, and I'll catch you guys next time.